So hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to tell you a resource as in that's going to eradicate all your speaking problems and you will not need even a teacher after that. And honestly, it can uh, affect my business also that uh, you will not come to me for the speaking practice. But honestly, Aizogi doesn't uh, endorse uh, profit over maybe student help. And it may sound fake. It's OK, but I'm going to do my thing. I am going to help people. If you consider me fake for this, no problem. Uh, you will get to see that this is the best speaking teacher ever, this software, not me, of course. And I'm going to tell you the process uh, as in by which you can use this software. It's free for everyone on the internet. And I wanted to make a video to create awareness about it before a center could manipulate you into um, purchasing you know, a course based on this software. You can use it by yourself. It's your thing. It's everyone's thing. So let's see. First of all, what you have to do is that you have to make an account on this uh, uh, website, app.smalltalk2.me, app.smalltalk2.me. Then as you can see on the screen, you have to go to the IELTS simulator app, oh, sorry, tab. Here you will get this um, screen where you'll have part one, part two, and part three. And also you'll have IELTS speaking test, random full variant. So you can take the full test or you can take part one, part two, and part three. I've been using this thing for my students for long and uh, as in they have benefited a lot. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do a speaking test for you guys as in on this uh, platform only. And you will see how to go about it. First of all, it will give you one minute for each answer. And I suggest you speak for what for the whole minute as in do not uh, just uh, click the next button and uh, move to the next option or the next question. The full variant will go on like this as in um, part one, part one, part three. And after that, uh, what you have to, okay, I'll tell you step by step. Uh, one thing that I need to tell you is that, you know, um, below each question, you will see two options, uh, sample answer and the tips. You can use both while speaking because this is practice. This is not a test. So, uh, you know, milk this opportunity. This software is the best teacher ever. Sudhir Chabra is not. Sudhir Chabra is not. This software is the best speaking teacher ever, and you will get to see each and every mistake of yours also. Let's see. So these are the instructions. If you want to prepare for the speaking test, I insist you go for this. Uh, you should not come to me for that. I'm going to start the speaking test now. So uh, when you start, just uh, click this uh, microphone, then the speaking test will start. So I'll not speak to you, but I'll take the test for you guys. My full name is Sudhir Chabra. Yes, you can see it. My hobbies are that I love to teach and that's my profession also. And uh, I've been doing it for about five years. It's a great thing. I love helping people and uh, I love teaching students also because by teaching them, I learn new things and I make money also. Another interest of mine is that I love to watch movies and I'm actually awaiting that movie Gangubai. Uh, it uh, stars Alia Bhatt, who's a terrific actress. And then perhaps another hobby of mine is actually making YouTube videos to uh, create awareness. And uh, that is something that I'm appreciated for as in, you know, often. And uh, then I like chatting with people, as in new people mostly, because uh, I, uh, you know, I get new ideas. I get to, uh, you know, hear new philosophies. I get to uh, deal with the new ideologies, and that is something that leads to my evolution also. So, kudos. I do not have any free time. Recently, I did the Josh video. Before that, I had some free time, as in I used to. I had about seven or eight students at a time, but after that I've had, a, you know, okay, this is going to be an exaggeration, but a plethora of students, as in it's just that I have revealed the truths regarding this IELTS industry and students have gone crazy about it and they have gone, uh, you know, they have actually started uh, consulting me like, you know, they are coming in numbers and I am grateful for that actually. And, uh, you know, so now I do not have any free time. And I actually am not able to sleep for about uh, maybe seven or eight hours. I'm sleeping. I've been sleeping for maybe only four hours in the, 
you know, for the last three or four months. No, not four or three months. Sorry, that is wrong. Maybe I guess uh, 14, uh, 10 or nine days. And that has been just because of that channel. Thank you. Okay, I don't want to repeat the previous thing. So I would talk about how I used to spend my holidays. Uh, let's talk about the Sunday only. As in it used to happen that I got, I used to get, uh, you know, I used to wake up at about uh, 10 a.m. And then I would scroll the, uh, my social media, my social media apps and all. And then what I would do is that I would look for which movies there in, uh, you know, in, in the theaters, I would uh, rush to the nearby theater and watch that movie. I would spend a lot on the, popcorn and then also the tickets are also very expensive but that's okay i earn for my life then i would come back home i would relax i would lie down because i love sleeping and uh, i would read a book also and currently i'm reading the silence of the lambs but i've not been able to complete it because of the you know because students are raining cats and dogs okay so and uh, that, that that is something that encapsulates everything Oh, I love mountains. I'm a solo traveler and I've uh, been to Shimla, Manali and uh, other such, uh, you know, rail, uh, railway station, I was about to say, hill stations, as in uh, they, they are great. And otherwise, I like to, uh, you know, explore different movie theaters in different places also, as in I recently uh, went to the PVR of uh, this um, Guru Gram and uh, it was really a great experience because I've seen the PVR of my city. And I've been to every theater of my city as in perhaps 20 times, but there it was a different experience because the infrastructure was like, you know, it was, it, it gave me goosebumps. It was like a blast. And so it, it was such a royal theater as in I felt I was, you know, attending the premiere of a movie. And uh, I watched uh, um, Ho over there, which is an Indian movie. And it was a nice movie. I loved it. And then I like to go to, I don't like to go to temples at all. I was about to lie. So God. This is going to be something I've spoke about. Uh, I've spoken about, uh, you know, in the Josh talk also, but okay. But that's the biggest disappointment of a life. I don't make notes, notes confuse me. So I just go by what comes to my mind about the topic. And remember, you do not need to use these three points. They are just for, for your help, but if you don't want to use them, chuck them. Only this line matters, this sentence, sorry. It was in 2020 when I'd gotten my first IELTS result, IELTS general training result, and I had scored 9-9 nine, nine, listening and reading and 8 speaking, but only a 7 in writing. So I was in the doldrums. I was like, okay, what has happened to me? Am I not good enough a writer? Because I had done this diploma in essay writing and I was actually skeptical about my own talent. So what happened that I started exploring about things. I got into knowing who the best teacher is, who the best, which, what the best resource is and I went to various websites. I went through various, uh, you know, consultations, and I got to know that there's one person who can make me uh, sail through this exam, you know, with flying colors. I wanted to have at least a band eight in writing, and then I got to know about this lady, and she uh, actually claimed that she could help me, uh, you know, get that. But nothing. That's what happened. She was a sham, and um, if she's listening to this, I think you should be ashamed of yourself. You looted me after being so rich. So as in. Do you have any morals? I would ask you, but then it's okay. As in after that, what has that, what happened that I had to leave, I had to leave my job also. So uh, after that, what happened that I started exploring about exploring the uh, resources deeply as in more deeply, I would say. And I got uh, across this uh, excellent website called uh, isles.com. And then, I, then my doubts were cleared and I used my knowledge. I used my wisdom and I used my experience in other exams. And what happened was a, uh, startling thing that now I have 20 certificates and that is something I am proud of myself for. And th that, that has actually led to that uh, kind of evolution and revolution uh, that I have presented in my uh, speech also. 
as in the one I mentioned earlier. And that has attracted the students as in now I am actually respected by many students and it is something, a dis, you know, a disappointment has actually created many appointments now. So I love myself now as in thank you for the disappointment. Yeah, of course, as in nowadays being uh, despondent is a, I would say routine because we get disappointed by anything wrong that happens to us because we feel we are in a competition and we feel as in whatever is happening is part of a competition. And if we are, you know, behind someone, we are not good enough to be alive. And that is, that is something dystopian. That is something that should not be there. Apart from that, I think uh, nowadays, you know, this disappointment is also a result of uh, the academics as in nowadays, the curricula are actually heavily bent on um grades competitions and uh, whatever actually you know ranks people and that has led to this society where even i would say kafka would be you know ashamed so such a bad society no 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 i do not get disappointed at all i'm a very optimistic person the thing is that i get ha get happiness out of helping people and that i do a lot uh, about material things, as in if I fail something, that of course gives me uh, some kind of sadness for some time, but that's okay. I think that is uh, part and parcel, as in that is par for the course, as in I, when the, that pain is there, I actually get to, I come into terms with the, what the realities are, and that is very, very necessary. Disappointment to me is not that I would not try again, not at all. That is not my thing. I would actually uh, rise, you know, as a stronger person, and their disappointment is going to help me and uh, apart from that i have many resources to get rid of disappointment disappointment for instance as i said i am a movie lover so i i'm a cinephile i would go to uh, the movies and uh, after that it is going to be all merry as in all happiness around me and thanks to cinemas for that as i said the society is like this as in it's all about megalomania here it's all about uh, who is better than you know, everybody else. And that is not possible for everyone. Everybody has a degree of talent. Everybody has, um, you know, a number of resources. And then what happens is that when you are more equipped or more talented, you are going to be better than others. Then of course, those are those who are left behind are not going to be, um, you know, happy enough as in, because life for everyone is the same, but uh, the talent and the resources are not. So what happens is that when those left behind people, you know, introspect, when they think about life, they think that life has not been fair to them and they have not been able to, uh, you know, prove their worth. And that is something I would say, you know, hoots, as in who cares about other people, just, uh, you know, find your thing, find your shtick, find your talent and uh, get involved into it. Don't listen to anybody. No, not at all. Expectations are a poison, I would say. I do not have expectations from anything. Uh, what I do is that I know there are certain necessities in life and you cannot live without them. But expecting uh, results is something that is gonna, you know, not make you work enough to achieve those goals. They are gonna be a pressure and, you know, this is life, not physics, that uh, work is gonna be done under pressure, not at all. If you are free, if you are, actually not under any kind of stress, then you are going to perform your best. And then those goals are, or those expectations are going to come true, but don't have them in the starting because these expectations are going to make you anxious. These uh, expectations are going to make you maybe feel stressed and you're not going, you're not uh, going to be able to work in that stress and anxiety. And what is going to happen is that those expectations are not going to come true. So what is, you know, why are they important? I don't think so. They are not at all. So after this uh, speaking test is over, just uh, click the analyze button. I'll tell you what the next steps are. But the thing is that it's gonna take some time to analyze the thing. What you have to do afterward is that you have to go to my records. So see, the test is being processed and uh, till the time it is being processed, I'll tell you some other resources also. Hope it doesn't show my porn history.
So guys, this is an app, a Duolingo app that teaches you the basics of English in an excellent way. I'm not the best grammar teacher, Duolingo is. So it's available, I'm learning French through it, but uh, it's it teaches, you know, very many languages. So you can see as in this thing, you can install it. Uh, I've already installed it. So I think that's why it's showing something of this sort, but uh, check it, Duolingo. As in, as in just that I cannot download it now. It's I love Duolingo. So what we can do is that we can go to their website perhaps. So yeah, this thing. So it has certain levels as in, let me open my account. This is my other account. I don't use it. Meri pehle se profile hai. Oh Lord, one sec. It's opening, 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 opening. So see, I'm learning French through it, as in, but you can learn, um, you know, English also. Now I'll tell you how it works. I've actually completed many levels now, but I'll do one of the same things. Let's do this. So start. complete the chat, but where? It works better in the app, I guess. Okay. Ma se toma atvi. My French is bad, don't judge me. I'm just a learner, a beginner right now. Yeah, so see. What's moi? I have forgotten. Moi. Myself, yeah. I. Je m'appelle Paul. So it will give you the translation also. And uh, when it teaches English, it teaches uh, it through as in Hindi. You will get instructions in Hindi. Like right now, it is happening that I'm getting instructions in um, as in English and I'm learning French through it. Let's see, continue. Je m'appelle. Mahi. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Amélie. Tu m'as écrit. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Paul. Je m'appelle Anna. Je parle. 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 I think. Parle. 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 Je m'appelle français. C'est Antoine. 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 My mother says Antra. Antoine. Antoine. Ok. Je m'appelle Anna. Je parle français. C'est Antoine. Antoine parle anglais. Who speaks French? So, uh, français. Antoine. Français. Parle. Yeah. So, Anna. Je is I here, so as in uh, Anna. So this way it will teach Hindi also, oh, sorry, English also through Hindi. So it's a great resource, I think, for your basics. And um, as in it will uh, teach you how to make sentences, it will teach you how to speak them. It will uh, work on your listening skills also, you know, on a very basic level. So I think kudos for them, you know, to them for making it. Then another resource that is gonna help you a lot in grammar is Macmillan Dictionary. Mm -hmm. My progress is gonna be fucked, but let it, let it be. So here, sometimes it happens that you are not able to um, get to know uh, what is gonna come after this word or what the right structure is. Just type it here and the problem will be solved. For instance, you want to know like, what is used after look forward to?
so you get the structure look forward to doing something so look as in it will tell you the structure of something then if you want to learn punctuation i have actually told the resource told you the resource in the punctuation one video go check it because i also want to have views i love getting views then uh, after that um, perhaps something that can help you in regard to ielts speaking listening reading writing uh, i have an i have actually i actually have one listening resource for beginners so if you type basic english or uh, basic listening you'll get this lovely lady yeah meeting we'll be having a meeting with michael from our english was not my strength i started getting worried that it would affect my job prospects a hostel friend of mine to new york office this afternoon do you know if there are so they make you practice right. the listening we're going to deliver uh, it in about 40 minutes you know through simple exercises as in as i always say go from basics to advanced levels and this is i would say you know paradise for that then perhaps um, speaking speaking you can use it as your teacher as in you do not need me or any other ielts teacher i'm telling you you will see why i'm saying that just uh, uh, when my i think will check after one or two minutes um, as in what my score is and what my other things are and you will see that this small talk is the best english resource ever listening reading writing speaking grammar i've told you punctuation the punctuation guide.com okay it's okay you can have it here also and uh, let's praise some people now i have always been cribbing and i want to be positive now there's an excellent channel for your okay okay let's get to the authentic thing follow this channel they make the paper i have not subscribed to it through this id but through my other id i i, I am their subscriber so don't judge me so here there are some webinars yeah super webinars yes there are some of the advertisements which i cannot uh, as in yeah um i love this person don oliver i cannot reveal my sexuality but i have a thing for don oliver now where are those webinars first of all like this improve your ielts speaking score or something that sarashan is quite fluent yeah don oliver if you do this you will an excellent score highly uh, video in that and first criteria it is going to help you a response. lot you analyze let me break a myth as in in this video only your teachers have told you and i can guarantee that for 90% of them they must have said that you should use surveys and you should not use uh, personal examples now let's see what the reality is first let's see if we can use uh, surveys or not this is the official ielts website not you know it's not my website i i had even told uh, josh people not to mention my website because the purpose of that video was uh, to make people aware as in not to promote myself and they are such, they are such kind people they did so and i i'm actually thanking bikram sir akshit sir and uh, the third uh, ajitesh sir for giving me the chance chances so see ielts you know the official website says don't present 
research or statistics related to the topic at least 41% of all men. Do not do this. And if you can use personal examples or not, let me show you that also. Give me a sec. I would need to open a file. So I guess, yeah, where are we? So I think you can see the screen now. Okay, this one, fine. Let me elongate it. So I call him Ayaz the Masarji. See what uh, Masarji has to say. Yes, personal examples are fine because in task two, you are told to support your opinion with uh, from your own experience and from your own knowledge. And it's perfectly okay for you to say, um, for example, my father had this problem. No problem at all. So, as in, I am not saying anything, they are saying, we realize people. Listen to it again. Yes, personal examples are fine because in task two, you are told to support your opinion with uh, from your own experience and from your own knowledge. And it's perfectly okay for you to say, um, for example, my father had this problem. No problem at all. And honestly, Honestly, recently, I would need to close that video. Yes, personal examples are fine because in task two, you are told to support your okay, opinion with uh, from your own experience and from your own knowledge. And it's perfectly okay for you to say... Feeling like a See, the thing is that... A few days back, I watched a video on YouTube. I, of course, cannot take the name of the person. And he was he had written a survey in the example. And he was guaranteeing to students that you will get a band nine for this essay. Not even an 8.5, a band nine for this essay. Like, I think that's why they have such big cars. OK, I think the, the report must be ready now. Let's get back to that. So this is like when you go to my records afterward, you will get uh, the report and let's see. So today I got a band eight, as in my real scores are, you know, in my real test, I got a band 8.5, but let it be. My full name is Sudhir. So you'll get a score, you'll get your recording, and you'll get your mistakes also. Of course, as in sometimes it happens that this software records, you know, each and every word, which is not right in speak uh, in speaking, because sometimes you change your stances and all, but that's okay. As in, um, um, this is here, uh, it's okay. I love to teach and I love teaching, both are fine, but it's okay. The software has certain limitations, but it's it is still better than, your teachers, as in not all, but those who are manipulating you. You'll get to see each of your mistakes. And then you will get suggestions and all, as in all those things. 
and uh, yeah so i'll simulate test and my records and then you will see the thing and remember as in okay i can show you that so that you don't uh, say that uh, i am also a charlatan a fukra i have actually gotten a band 8.5 in the real test in the speaking part of course overall also 8.5 so see speaking 8.5 and that two two times in this one i got an 8 in the speaking test but here again i speaking 8.5 it's a funny story i tell you so the first time i had taken the exam was this one uh, ielts gt i got an 8 uh, in the speaking test and then i took this one the um academic one but the disappointment was this section listening i got only 7 overall was an 8 again but the thing was that i was actually not uh, very happy as in listening 7 uh, as in what will the students think and all those things but then i took the academic part again the speaking score remained the same 8.5 writing increased by 0.5 um Uh, as in reading and listening uh, listening i um, as in in the first attempt also was a 9 in the last attempt also a 9 so i was very happy and then what why i am showing these free resources and helping you guys is that it's not i do not have any propaganda but i've seen I'm, i've been a teacher and have that teacher is instinct in me so i am actually very sad about the state of affairs it's not about not doing business we all are there to do that i am a businessman i am running my startup but to what levels will we stoop why are we exploiting students why are we doing this why are we selling a course first of all test yourself before teaching others as in be careful about your own talent you are not able to speak three consecutive sentences in english and you are claiming that your tips will give you i uh, will uh, you know get students band 9 in speaking how dare you i'm here i'm not referring to any specific teacher i that's a disclaimer but you know what the general state of affairs is so i i i if i'm you know if students get to know all the free resources i'm trying to put them out one by one it's okay even if my job go if, even if no student comes to me it's okay fine i'm happy with i will do something else i'll go to canada i'll do something else had it been a fair business i never would have talked about such things and um, but charging 15000 a month is not right get a vacant guys choose the right teacher i'm not saying i'm the right teacher don't don't take it in that direction don't come to me i don't teach ielts i'm not saying that but i've seen farmers kids crying i've seen you know very poor people paying this much fee to centers when they are not able to earn bread properly also why think about it bye